Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful seed beads and bicons elegant morning star set with earrings and a pendant which is a great present idea for the holidays. If you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell if you still haven't and in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week with my new videos. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. If you want, you could check description for full list of materials, link to PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could check my second channel with the fast clips and also you could check what you get if you decide to become a member. Okay, I'm showing this really easy and slowly and now it's time to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads, chameleon color and white color and one color of 4 mm bicons. They are also a chameleon color. And here I'm using earring findings in silver color and uh, this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I start my work by picking up four of these beautiful white beads. Okay I have four of them. And I'm going to slide those down and I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm pulling and then I will make one more knot here. Okay, then I'm going through the following white bead. Now I'm taking one of those beautiful 4 mm chameleon beads that are by the way from Erica Sandor's collection. If you check my unboxing playlist you will see some of their collections. Okay, so I'm taking it and I take one white bead, slide those down, you see what I have now. Now I skip this white bead and I go through the bicon and through the following white. So my thread is exiting out of this white, going through the bicon, going through the white, then backwards skipping the white and going through the bicon and through the following white. Okay. This is what I have. Now I will do this again, a bicon and a seed bead. Slide those down. Skip the bicon. Skip the seed bead, sorry, and go through the bicon and the next seed bead. And then I will repeat it two more times. Okay, and I added this last uh, bicon. Then I went through this white bead here and then through the bicon. You see I'm exiting out of this bicon here. And what I want to do is go through this seed bead. So now I have this. Now I'm going to pick up five seed beads and I go in the following seed bead just like this and I'm going to repeat this guys adding five seed beads everywhere and connecting those seed beads at the end of the bicons. <laughs> okay now 
I added all of them. And because I want to tighten up my work, I'm going through some beads in this direction. And I'm exiting out of this bead here that is next to the bicon. Okay, this one before I add the five after that. And what I want to do is take two white beads, one chameleon bead and two white beads. And I'm going back in circle through the same white bead I'm exiting out of. Just like this, you see. And I pull. So now I have this. Then what I do is that I go to the next three seed beads. And I'm exiting out of the middle of these five beads that I added. So this one is the middle of these five that I added in my previous row. Here I have two, here I have two, and this is the middle one. And I take two white beads, one chameleon and two white. And what I do next is that I go through this bead, the middle one of the five that I added backwards like this. Then in my next step, I also go through three beads. When I finish element, I go through three beads after that. And I'm here at this white that is holding the bicon to stay here. And I'm taking two whites, one chameleon and two whites. Okay, the same thing. And I go backwards through this white bead, like this. Okay. Then I go through three more beads in this direction. Exiting out of the middle of the five beads that I added. Then again, I take two white beads, one chameleon and two white beads. And I go through this one and through the next three just to save time, just to save one movement. And when I pull, I'm in a position to start my next element. And I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay, five. Backwards through this one and through the next three. So through four in total. Okay, now I'm going to make three more of these elements and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I add my last loop of beads. And how do you know you work correctly? You should have eight elements in total and you should have two beads space between them. Okay, now in my next step, what I want to do is go in this direction. And I want to exit through these two white beads like this and now I need to add seven white beads okay I have my seven here I go through the first white I skip this chameleon bead and I go through the first white in this direction and just like this and then I take one chameleon bead and I go in the first white then I want to take five beads in my next step I'm taking five guys you see and again I go through the first white bead. Now this is what I have. And I take one chameleon and I go from the inside to the outside through this white bead. What I want to take next are seven white beads. 
Okay, I need my seven here. And I go in this white. Then I take one chameleon. And I go here. And in my next step, I'm taking five. I'm alternating five with seven all the time. Okay. Now I have five. Now I have one. And then again, seven, one, five, seven, one, five. And I'll meet you here at the last step. Okay, guys, and I'm up to here and I hope you did it. If not, just rewind the video and repeat the first steps that I showed you. And now I'm here exiting after the first white bead counting from the center. And uh, what I want to do is go in the same place like I did before. Don't make the mistake to go in the upper bead. Uh, go here. Okay. Now, in my next step, what I want to do is go here through the next three beads of this seven. I'm exiting next to the one that's sticking out the most and I'm going to take three seed beads. And then I go through the next three again. Okay. And I'm going to take two chameleon beads. Okay. Two chameleons. And I go here. This time I'm going in this direction through two. Because here I have five instead of seven. And I want to be one bead away from this one that's sticking out the most. That is why I'm take, going through two beads. And again I'm taking three. And uh, I skip here the top and I go through these two in this direction. Then again, I need two chameleons. And I go through the next three. And I need three again. And go through the following three. And I need two again. And I go here through these two. Then I need three. And I go through these two. And then again, I need two. And I go through these three. Okay. And I'm going to continue this until the end, adding three, adding two, adding three, adding two. And I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and I'm adding here my last three beads from this row. And now it's time to add my last two beads from this row, which are chameleon. And I'm going here in the same place, like this. And now I want to make an additional row. It's not obligatory, but I want to make it and I feel it looks better with it. So what I do is go through all of those beads, exiting one white bead away before these two chameleon beads. And now I want to take three chameleons. And I'm going in the same place, one white bead away from the two. Okay, now I have this. And what I want to do is go through all of the beads in this direction. And then through the top and through the next two. 
and I am here which is one white bead away from this chameleon beads and I need to take three by the way don't use soft nylon thread for this project because it won't work well okay and I add here three and I'm going to show you this one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay and continue this and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and what I do is that I go in this direction and I exit through this bead, this white bead that is at the top uh, from my element with seven beads here and what I need to do is add my earring finding and how I do this I take two seed beads then I take my earring finding then again I take two more seed beads like this and I go through this white bead here at the top okay then what I want to do is reinforce okay and uh, here I am at the edge and what I want to do is make a knot and I make my knot by making here a loop and going once and going second time through this loop I've made and I make sure that I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and then I go through some beads I could repeat this knot several more times when I'm ready with the last knot I go through some beads in this direction and I cut my thread and if you want to make a pendant guys it's absolutely the same thing just here you add six beads to have enough space for the pendant holder okay and here is an example for the pendant six beads and pendant holder attached to it and a chain okay that's everything that you need to do okay guys and now my morning star seed beads and bicon set with earrings and a pendant is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button in this way you will know when i make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see your creation mainly on my Facebook page. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and what you get if you decide to become a member. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.